Yo, it's Mike Kasem here, and this is the show we call Sabo. This is a prank show, but this is not just any ordinary prank show. We are only going after Caldecott Hill's best and brightest. I'm talking about actors. We're gonna go after the most famous sports star ever in the history of Singapore. No one is safe right here on Sabo, and it's very cool because I'm gonna play some characters, and uh, I'm gonna prank my good friends, some DJs maybe. I'm also gonna be enlisting the help of some of the victims who wanna prank it forward. I'm out to Sabo, one immediate Corpse, eight dukes, and of course, this guy is attention seeking, vocal, upfront, in your face. I'm talking about Ian Fong. He likes to call up his friends late night and prank them by putting on phony accents. Let's see what happens when the tables are turned on Ian in a prank I like to call to be or not to be Sabo. Ian Fung is Mediacorp's most ambitious young actor. He is best known for starring in dramas such as On the Fringe in 2011 and Don't Stop Believin', as well as movies such as Imperfect. Constantly showing off his achievements on social media, Ian is set to be a media juggernaut, pushing into the fashion and music arenas. However, there is one stage that Ian Fung has not graced yet, and that is French theater. Today, Ian Fong's acting ability will be pushed to the limits as he auditions under real French theater director Sabrina Zuber and her fake crew of playwright, assistant director, as well as French supporting cast. The gag goes like this. Ian is invited to audition for a fake French play entitled L'Amour et Avoule, or Love is Blind. However, the experience of theater acting will be a roller coaster of emotions, and his female co-star may not be everything his eyes believe her to be. As Ian Fong walks into the theater with the assistant director, he's about to deliver the performance of a lifetime. Break a leg, Ian. Uh, so well, this is Ian. I just arrived. Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. Please join us on stage. Oh, nice. We were waiting for you, just actually. Watch your step. So nice to meet you, Sabrina. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. I understand how do you feel. I've been hearing from you so much. <laughs> Director Sabrina starts to feed his ego and set the expectations high for Ian. Time to meet his beautiful co-star. Christina, yes. can you please come? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe barefoot is better. All right, so this is Christina. Hi. Ian. Hi. Nice to meet you, Christina. Very famous a lot about star you. from Singapore, and Christina has been working with us for a few productions. Okay. Uh, so Ian's noticed his hot Russian co-star. Time for the traditional theater-style warm-up. Really so nice. Um, do you mind if we warm up the whole cast? Well, it is you, okay. her, That's and some fine. other extras. I'd like to have a warm up. Yes, it's okay. All right, Guillaume, can you please clear this out? Okay, okay. Let's stay here. Here, come Ian. You can come here. Okay, let's just warm up everyone and Guillaume and our playwright, everyone. Inhale, bring your both arms up. And when you exhale very loudly, you can also sigh. Mm. Shake your body, shake your legs, your ankles, your hips, ladies, come on. Tongue work. Just do some loops, let's say five to six loops. Clean your teeth if you've been having some. All right, so far so good. Let's, Let's get in touch with our emotions. Is, uh, passing over uh, an emotion. So please, no words at all. <laughs> Man, Ian is being an excellent sport and warming up like a professional theater actor. Time to get to work, Ian, and explore the romantic forbidden love story between a young blind student and his teacher, a married woman. The best part, Ian Fong will be acting completely in English, something he's never ever done before. <laughs> read it through, try to imagine the situation, okay. and once you're ready, I'll call lights, I'll call action, and then we just try the first session. Okay. Any any question? Any questions? How about us? Hmm? 
in exactly two weeks' time, we are supposed to be in Nice enjoying the sunset, a sipping bit the more wine. Urge, a little bit more passion, a bit more and urge, like love. getting nervous, I'm anxious, anxious. Our first anniversary. Huh? Augustan, I'm a married woman. I. I no. don't have no, a luxury no. to love you. The... No. Very good. Listen to me. You didn't think of how you were married when we kissed. More passion, in... passion, passion. You didn't think of how you were married when we kissed in the piano room for the first time. Passion, you're in love. So, what am I to you now? Just an Asian boy you used to, where your husband is away. Don't you grieve for this? Louder, we don't hear. Don't Energy you grieve for this? Try, try uh, to attempt right. to. You're going to kiss right now, right? I mean, that, that's, that's the, the part. Yeah. Are you okay with this? First I don't know. I mean, this is part of the script, but um, can you just close your eyes and maybe get a bit closer? But it's a love story. It's a tormented... Okay. Don't you crave for this? Is it okay? You shouldn't be you, laughing, you, you know. You need to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you need to kiss, guys. I mean... I mean, we want to see the passion, the French way. Don't you crave for That's this? right, Ian. The French way. But his Russian co-star is smelling something fishy. By the way, what she just said in Russian means Ian has bad breath. It must be 10 times worse for Ian's ego as well because I've just sent the reporters in at this exact moment to catch Ian's theatrical progress. Nice to meet you. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Tashi. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Hi, you are the photographer, I guess. Hi. Bonjour. Five minutes break okay. for everyone. Ian, get a yeah. glass of water. Good, good. Um, uh, can I just talk we, to you? Yes. Oh, we're going Christine. to take a five minutes break. Yeah. And uh, actually, those are reporters. Next on the agenda, we get our sexy female actress to stand by in the corner. While Ian is busy trying to explain his theatrical role, she gives him a present for his stinky breath. Oh man, did she just do that in front of the reporters? His ego must be severely damaged by now. He's desperately trying to get his manager on the phone. Since that doesn't work, he answers a few questions for our fake reporter. Okay, actually, uh, to be very honest and to be very uh, very frank, I'm not very really sure about what's really going on, but the thing is, like, you know, it's. It's quite stressful because of, it's my really kind of first time to use English and uh, to join this play and the theater play. And you know, theater play requires a lot of things like uh, voice projections, and physical stuff, and emotions, face expression, and all that. But the thing is that uh, I'm kind of nervous and I'm kind of learn something new also. It's very nice, sweet girl from Russia you know, passionate and very chill, okay, pretty. But the thing is, say, um, she's a bit um, reluctant to uh, maybe certain scenes where you have to be more intimate. After the interview, we are gearing up for part two of the gag. But Ian's had just about enough. He tells the assistant director that he's going to the toilet and leaves the theater. The team nervously awaits, unsure of what Ian's reaction will be. All our units are standing by for the final reveal. But could the gag be over? Thankfully, our assistant director pulls Ian right back into play, and we are ready for part two of the gag, where Ian will not only learn what it's like to play a young student in love, but he'll have his eyes wrapped in bandages, delivering the most challenging and romantic English lines of his career. Eyes will be uh, blindfolded. Yeah. You are okay with that, right? Being be blindfolded, yeah. is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, breathe, breathe. Well, we never forget about breathing. As the French crew bandage Ian, yeah, the actors and actors actresses quietly exit the theater, getting ready for the final reveal, while I get changed into my final costume. All right, right now we're backstage. Ian's doing his thing on stage with the actors. I'm supposed to get into this pink dress right now, and it's not fitting, so let's see how this goes. Fits perfect. Like a dream. I'm just going to. 
the no idea problem, is you know, I'm here. Okay. We just want you to express your, your feeling of anger that she just uh, breaking news that you are just a lover. Yeah. Just and don't leave me. <laughs> okay. 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 Give your ready? best. Augustan. You have to understand that I am in an unhappy marriage, yes. But he's providing for me. He is giving me the life that the failed musician can only dream of. A house, a car. Can you give it to me? Call me a shallow, but this is the life that I'm used to. I'm sorry that I've used you to fill up the vacuum in my life. Stop it, stop it, stop it! So. Wow, Ian, you really should consider a career in Channel 5. Even with the blindfold, I can totally feel you, man. And believe me, buddy. every single night when you're happy. You are about to feel me too. Your husband, because of that stupid, stingy guy. Great. Great. Let me clap for you. Let me clap for you both. Fine. If you want to leave, just leave. But please, let me see your last time. One last time. Channel 8 actors in the world. <laughs> How about you meet our uh, Sabo team right here? What up, Sabo team? <laughs> you guys sucks. You guys sucks. You know, usually I prank a lot of people, you know, and just got pranked without any, you know, without, I can't smell anything fishy, you understand? Especially last part. You know, when I first, I blindfolded, when I touch it, how come the actress a bit buffed up and a bit hairy up? But I don't dare to say, no, but I just try my best to just still continue and all that. And the director never say car, I, I cannot stop. I have to continue and continue and continue my acting. So what I do, I sit down there, I do nothing. And I say, hey, a bit too long, huh? <laughs> and I really, you know, crying, like, I really cry. Like. But today, really, you guys, you know, the production just, you know, grew. You guys are great. Until now, I'm still kind of confused, you know? My mind is still, like, thinking of what's really going on and all. The setting, the lights, the people, they're professional. Everything is good. I really buy it. So, you know, I'm kind of nervous. And I, I don't know, I really don't know is whether it's Chinese or English. So I just came in. I came in and I said, oh my God, so many Amos. <laughs> I think this is real shit. Yen Fang, this is real shit. You cannot screw up, okay? So everyone is so professional. They look good. They look passionate and all that. So I cannot show my own face. 
I cannot show media cop artist face. So I just did everything my best. I tried my best. And I really involved into the character. Hi, I'm Yan Bang and I just got <laughs> my God. I haven't laughed like that in years. Thank you so much, Ian. I mean, this is a guy who's only comfortable really speaking Mandarin. He's a native Shanghai dude, and we totally took him out of his comfort zone. And also, the girl accused him of having bad breath. The French theater crew, the whole deal. This guy was way out of his element, but he handled it like a champ. Ian needs to let off some steam after he was so gloriously pranked. So let's see who he has in mind. Who does he want to join the Sabo Wall of Shame? All right, here's the setup. Ian has asked Shane to come down for a double date. Ian has been texting Shane all week about this hot German model who's bringing along another hot German girl to meet them for dinner. Shane thinks he's here as Ian's wingman. Let's see if Shane can handle our sabotastic German models. It's my case, I'm here signing off, but make sure you catch me next week on another episode of Sabo.